Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today, I'm very excited. This is going to be two parts, but I uh, was so inspired by all the beauty gurus who would follow somebody else's tutorial, and I thought, you know what? I want to try it with acrylic painting. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a mixed media artist, so I follow no rules and uh, no structure <laughs> in my mixed media, but uh, I decided to follow one of the Art Sherpa Cinnamon Cooney's videos. Now, when I did it, I wasn't planning on following um, a three-parter, but I thought if I'm going to go, I'm going to go big. <clears throat> so I'm going to give you my experience and show you, uh, you know, a little quick uh, how I did. And I'm going to link her down below because <laughs> if you dig this and you want to try it, which I highly suggest, uh, go follow her <laughs> tutorial, not mine. Um, I was all over the place with this, but I'm going to start. I recycled a canvas. So you can see the canvas has some crackle on it underneath. And all I did was painted um, my gesso over top of that. And I'm starting with my canvas. Now she used two colors, which I am not, that are not in my painting uh, collection, I guess. Uh, she used Prussian blue hue and she used a translucent white. Well, I didn't have either one and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go buy these two. I have a lot of golden, but I didn't have that color uh, anymore. I had it, but it had like a little pinch left as you saw me squeeze out uh, and it was kind of thick. So I had to spray some water to really get it to thin out. Um, so I had to, yeah, I went and got me a new Liquitex Heavy Body Prussian Blue Hue. And I love it. I did learn the difference between that and my other blue, which I use all the time, uh, which is Thalo Blue. And so, yeah, so you see me here, and I am adding a little bit of water because it was thicker, and I'm painting my whole background blue. Um, again, I'm not telling you how to do it. I'm just kind of going to talk through this, give you my, uh, what I was thinking and how I did, um, go watch, uh, cinnamon because you will get much better results. <laughs> so yeah. So then I had to scrape off some of the thick parts. <laughs> this is me, um, in all my glory, but yeah, so you can see, I, I kind of get it, get it. Uh, my lighting is constantly off due to the fact of, um, I have a windows and then I have my light and then I have a light above me and I'm always, I finally, towards the end of the video, which you'll see, uh, probably tomorrow, um, figured out the lighting, <laughs> uh, but it was, you know, it, it is what it is. So, uh, we are going to, you can see that it's lighter. So we're going to take our bigger brush and I think I'm going to make the outside darker or the inside lighter. I don't know. We'll see here in a minute. And then I'll tell you, this might've been where I cried for a half hour, um, which I believe was at the clouds. I, I didn't cry here yet. <laughs> I had all kinds of emotions. Uh, it was very stressful because I'm not an acrylic artist and I'm not going to lie. I said this before I followed a painting with Jane, a tutorial on a Buddha, uh, head and I can follow Jane very easily. And I'm going to explain to you why I, I have a hard time following uh, cinnamon, but it's not her. It's me. It's, I have RA and fibro and, uh, diabetes and so many other things. And I'm on a lot of very strong medication and it's just the way I process in my brain. So you're going to see now we're going to put down, um, some of this, I think it's still Prussian blue or maybe it's the other, or maybe it's black. I don't know. Like I said, um, we're making it dark. So we have a little bit of light in the middle and then darker on the outside. At least I think that's what I'm doing. It was a lot of fun, but like I said, I have a hard time following her. And the reason is because of my brain and the, the comprehension and it, just not processing correctly. And it's because she talks to her husband through it. And that's what I finally figured out doing this. Now, is it a horrible thing? No, he's not a, he's not a 
distraction, so to say. But for me, I need that straightforward teaching, if that makes sense. And when, like, so I can get my brain in it because I'm I have fog brain, brain fog. Um, so when they would speak or he would speak when she was doing something, it broke my concentration. So for me to get that back, it takes a lot. Um, doesn't now I'm somebody who, if I can't get something, I'm not, I'm not somebody who gives up because, uh, you know, I'm like, this is a challenge and I'm going to do it. And I did do it and I might do another one, um, of a different painting. But like I said, for me, it was the, uh, breaks in between where they would talk or, you know, he would, um, come in and say something, you know, when maybe she was drawing something like it totally breaks my concentration. Um, and, and that's, you know, that's about that. Like I said, it's not a horrible thing. She has mil uh, thousands and thousands of, uh, subscribers, which she deserves, but, uh, you know, so here I took the chalk and I did a line going across and I don't recall if it was supposed to be half and half or a little ways up, uh, who knows with me, but that's what I did. <laughs> and now comes the, we're going to do in, like put in like some, no, no, we're doing, I'm trying to fix it now. I think I'm trying to fix it and make it darker on the outside than the inside because we need the inside to be lighter for the clouds and for the little goddess or what have you, uh, celestial goddess gets, uh, painted in there. So I'm trying to fix it now. And, you know, I, like I said, I, I got to a point where I literally sat here and cried for a half hour because I just, and it also, when I cried, it kind of cleansed me and it opened up a thought of Kelly, what do you always tell your subscribers? Do it your own way. And that is something cinnamon says the whole way as well. Um, do it, you know, do it your own way and do it with what you have and that kind of thing. Um, and then I finally got it and then still tried to follow her as much as I could, but, um, had to do things my own way. Uh, to get, you know, what was going on. Um, I did, <laughs> I, when I was done, uh, I did write cinnamon. I was almost done. I was on the last video and I wrote her and I said, I weirdly have fallen in love with you, not in a sexual way, but a kind of, I want to hold your hand and skip down to the road to Starbucks, sit down and have coffee and talk. <laughs> uh, because she is, she's very endearing and you know, a, a great, like I said, a great teacher and she doesn't make you feel like stupid or anything like that, which I think is a big deal. Um, I've taken some classes and, uh, I've seen some teachers that I just don't dig people in general, even on YouTube and not necessarily art. I, I watch cooking and I watch makeup and, you know, all kinds of different things. So so now you see, I did the outside starker so that lighter blue is in the inside. I'm feeling it, feeling it. And now we're going in with this glorious new paint. This is the only one I could find. It, it is from Windsor and Newton and it's a Galleria acrylic mixing white. So if you want to paint this or you need a translucent white, um, that's what I found. I went to look for the golden one and they were sold out. So I will probably, the next time I go to the store, look and see if they restocked and I will get the golden one, um, just to see the difference. But like I said, I have the Windsor Newton one and it worked fine. And I definitely want to play with this a lot more, especially in my mixed media, because I think it's just going to be delicious. Um, it just gives a different kind of look to the paint. I don't know. I kind of dug it. So now we're going to start painting the uh, clouds and like the foggy kind of bits, which gave me a run for my money. Again, it doesn't look like cinnamons when I'm done, but that's okay. I'm all right. Like I said, a little crying, a little soul searching, a lot of cursing, which is one of the reasons why I had to um, do a voiceover because I would forget like I'd be watching her and listening to her and listening to John and doing it and rewinding and cursed a lot. And I realized that can't go on here. So, um, 
you know, and I wanted to put on um, Dave has me using um, power director as a new, uh, what do you call it, editing software? Because I usually just use my, my windows free one windows media, whatever it's called. Um, so he's like, try this. So I've been trying to learn this and do this and, I'm hoping the next one I do, which I think I might want to do one in mixed media. I'm not going to lie. I've been, I've been telling cinnamon. Yeah. I want to do one of them in my way in mixed media. Um, and I think I might with it within the month, uh, try that. Um, because I'm really, I'm really happy with myself. Uh, when you see how this came out. So, um, not perfect. Doesn't look like hers. Um, I might want to go and fix a few things now that it's dry and I'm looking at it, but, um, I am really proud of myself. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. And you might look at it and be like, girl, you should not be, but I am because I did fight through. I did not give up, even though there's a few times that I wanted to. Um, and I would have to go to Emily or Dave and say, what do you think? What do you think? Um, you know, and of course they're lovely and they give me wonderful, uh, yes, of course, you know, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love the way you did it or I love the way you're doing it. Um, but you know, we're always hardest on ourselves, <laughs> aren't we? Now, let me tell you, which I did not use. She has cinnamon has on her website where you can download the colors and the print of like, you'll see uh, drawing a girl and I didn't want any of that. I wanted to do it like straight up, you know, which might've been a mistake. Who knows? Um, but I didn't want to go and do any of that. I wanted to really try to do it from her video. I probably could have made it much easier on myself if I would have went <laughs> and downloaded them from her site or printed them from her site, but definitely go check that out for help as well. And I think that's for anybody who offers it. Um, if you're worried, you know, I just like to go for it. I just like to go for it. And then I like to cry when I can't get it right. I just got so frustrated with that. I could, I, that I couldn't follow her, that I would keep getting, uh, having breaks in my concentration. And like I said, for me, that's not a fantastic thing. Um, I'm a very visual learner, but I do, like I said, my brain, I got that brain fog. I got that medication fog and, um, it was, it was hard for me, but I did it and I, I loved it. I loved it. And like I said, now I, I understand the, not that I didn't understand the love for her, but a lot of people really dig her and I get it. Like I said, I tried, I tried last year, I think it was, or maybe the year before, um, I think it was last year to follow one of cinnamons and I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And then I went and followed, like I said, painting by Jane's and I got it, um, I, you know, I was able to do it. No problem. And I, I mentioned, I think at the time, like it's not a diss towards anybody. It's just the way my brain works. And some of us are visual learners and some of us are, you know, book and text learners and you know, it's, it's okay. But like I said, I was determined and I got a beautiful painting out of it. You know what I mean? Like always, always push yourself. I told you guys that this is the year that I'm going to push myself to do things. Um, that I really am not really equipped well to do. I can draw a folk art girl. I can do my odd girls. I can do that kind of thing. And, you know, I've done realistic before years ago, my friend Pixie, uh, we wanted to do the Jesse J. She was popular at the time. I don't even know what she is now, but, um, so I drew her from, you know, like a profile that really looked like her and I was really proud of it, but it was, it wasn't what I want, I want to be able to look at somebody and get their features down and draw. And that's another thing I'm planning in 2018. And I want to do, honestly, I want to try to do my own acrylic painting, um, where I could look at a painting and do it. Do you know what I mean? To the best of my ability. So I love doing these and learning. I've learned so many tricks following this video of cinnamons that I'm going to be trying, I'm going to be watching more you know, so I can learn a little bit more. And this, like I said, is three videos. I think the first two are an hour and a half. And then the second one might be an hour or the third one might be an hour. Um, so like I said, I'm forwarding and, you know, doing my voiceover and that kind of thing. Uh, now you're seeing me go back and fix and darken up some of it kind of like 
more like cinnamons. And I wanted to show this and say, this is, you know, this is okay. You can go back. Acrylic paint is so delicious because when it's dry, you can paint over it and uh, you can go over darker or lighter or what have you. And that's what I'm doing. I'm getting some more of those dark uh, parts in there. Again, not like cinnamons, but it's going to be like Kelly's and that's okay. And there is a point like where I quit because I did start talking and start this out like going frame for frame and, you know, that kind of thing. But like I said, between the cursing and I having to watch the video over, I think I might have watched these videos. I, I don't know. That's probably why I dreamt about her and thought, let's be friends because um, I had to keep, you know, going back and watching them. And it was just too hard for me to do you know, straightforward. And like I said, then it would be, you know, long me doing this cause I was blending and then I'd put music on. So it's just better for everybody. Now you can see, you know, there's more dark in there now and you'll see how, why that means something as the video goes on. And that is my scruffy brush. And that's where I'm going in with a little bit more of that white, the mixing white or translucent white winter. I, I, I forget the other. There's like a million different names for this paint. And I'm just going in and putting more of that white down and going for it. I tell you the truth though, it's not a very, um, it's not a very big palette, uh, that you need. I mean, I use the Prussian blue hue. I used mixing white. I used magenta. Is it magenta? What color are you meeting? I used oh no, a lizard, a uh, crimson. I used that, and titanium white, yellow ochre, phthalo green. I have sitting here. Yeah, and the Prussian blue. So I mean, it's really not that that uh you know many in the palette uh to use what was i gonna say and oh you'll see i uh learned how to make a a uh, skin color with three colors yeah three colors i think we used which that'll be coming up but uh which was very exciting for me because i have i i usually mix like darker colors and then kind of, you know what I mean? So this one's a really easy one for me to uh, remember. And I might share it on one of my videos for you guys. Um, you know, so I'll talk about that when I do it, but yeah, it, it was very helpful. So like I said, the palette isn't very big of colors, you know, to use. I am because I am a folk art, craft art, uh, craft paint kind of girl. And I love my folk art, uh, plaid paints. I am trying to see if we have colors in that, because I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, I don't, I can't afford gold and I can't afford Liquitex. I can't afford Winsor and Newton. Now understand me when I say this, I went and I went to AC Moore and I picked these out and I used a coupon on both. I made my husband go through and I, through and I used they had 50 off at the time so I didn't buy these full price um so yeah so I mean they're, it's doable but I am seeing what we have uh plaid sending me a couple colors because it's named differently in all the different um brands so I'm going to see what I have and what I get and what we can use so because the, the the mixing white is very it, it's very cool <laughs> I really dig for what it does now you see I'm adding in some foggy bits. And like I said, this is going to end in a few uh, minutes and I will get this up and then I'll work on doing, you can see me putting some more blue down there because I screwed that up royally. Um, but you'll see me, you know, going more into the drawing and that kind of thing. So it's very, very, very exciting. And you see, I just kind of blotted it off to dry it so I can start. But just remember, this is fun. Art is to be fun. And I'm always about learning and pushing yourself. So please, you know, 
always remember that. Uh, leave me any questions or anything. I'll put all the links down below uh, for you to go check out the vid this video uh, series from Cinnamon. And as always, please remember, please, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Remember, this is progress, not perfection. That's why I am so excited to be doing this. And I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video.